Hi, this is Carol from Vault Editions, and today we're going to cover in Photoshop some of the many ways to remove backgrounds from your images. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is extract this engraving of a snake skeleton, which is from our collection Snakes and Other Reptiles. You can find out more about that collection uh, at our website, vaulteditions.com. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to Select. We're going to go to Color Range. And once we've opened that up, what we want to do is make sure that this slider here, the fuzziness slider, is all the way up to 200. We also want to make sure that this invert uh, checkbox here is selected. What that means is that when we select with our, uh, our eyedropper here, uh, any pixels on the canvas that are white, it's going to select everything that is the inverse, so black. So it's going to select all of the pixels of this engraving that are black and will, will make a selection of these pixels, which means we can then uh, replicate the image. So the best way to do this is just to give you an example. So I'm going to go and select, uh, sorry, click on the canvas here. It's made a selection of the snake skeleton here, which you can see. So if I go ahead and click OK, we now have a live selection of all of the black pixels. So now what we want to do is we want to go down here. We want to click on this icon here to create a new layer. We also want to go over to our color picker here. We want to make sure that we've got uh, black selected as our backfill color. And to backfill this, we just want to press on the keyboard, command delete. If you're using a PC, that would be control delete. And now I'm going to press Command D to deselect the selection. So to show you, so that will now be separated, but the best way to show you this is to create a new layer here. I'm just going to go ahead and select any color. I'm going to make sure that that's my background color now. And so now that you can see, if I come over and I select this layer here, I press V for my move tool can now move that around and it's separated from the background, which is great. Um, you might want to change the color of this engraving and you can now definitely do that. So the quickest way to do that is to come up to your layer that's been separated. You want to double click on it. We'll go to color overlay. And if you come up to your color picker here, you'll now be able to change the color to whatever color you want. So I hope that's helpful and that's just like a really quick and easy way to separate engraving style uh, images from a background. Okay, so now that we've learned how to extract the background uh, from the image, what we're going to do now is learn how to create a, a backfill for the silhouette of the image. So we're going to use this rose here as the example uh, from our botanical art collection. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the steps that we did previously. So first thing I need to do actually is just create, uh, just make this document RGB. So now I'll follow the steps again. So I'm going to go select color range. I'm going to select, make sure that fuzziness is selected to 200, invert selected. I'm going to click on any white part of the canvas. I'm going to press OK. So now we have our selection there. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to make sure that black is selected. Uh, I'm going to press Command Delete, and that's Control Delete if you're using a PC again. And then I'm going to press Command D to deselect the selection. Okay, so now if I create a new layer, we'll be able to see that that is. Let's use this blue color. We'll be able to see that that's now separated. So in order to create a backfill just for basically like within the silhouette of the rows, what we're going to want to do is make sure that we have our wand tool selected. So um, you can either click here or the short keyboard shortcut is W. Um, go ahead and have a look up here and make sure that what I have selected, you have also. So tolerance is 20. Uh, Anti-alias is can is uh, checked, also contiguous. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, make sure that I have the rows selected. I'm going to click on the outside here. You'll see that that's started to make uh, a selection that we need. It's not perfect here, but we also need to make sure that we get 
these little gaps down here. So to do that, uh, hold shift on your keyboard and you'll see that there's a sort of like a little plus sign next to the one now, which means we can add to our selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in here and again, and again, and again. So now if I zoom out, we can see that we have this selection made, but what will happen, as you can see, like the outside here is also selected. So if we were to backfill that now, it would fill everything around the rows rather than everything within it. So to change that, what we can do, we can inverse the selection. And to do that on the keyboard, press Command, Shift, I, and that will inverse the selection. So now we can see that it's just following basically the outline or the silhouette of this rose here. So let's go ahead and backfill this. So click on the layer below, new layer, and we want a different color. So any old color will be fine. We can use this pink. And again, we're gonna make sure that that is our background color so that it's sitting at the back here. And to backfill, we're going to press on the keyboard, Command, Delete. And there we go. And so we can see that that's backfilled in the silhouette of this image. So let's deselect the selection and see if there's anything that we need to fix. So there definitely is. So here you can see that it's sort of like it's made a selection uh, in through this gap here and it's sort of like gone into these little uh, engraving crevices. So what we'll need to do is we'll get our brush tool. Uh, just make sure that maybe a little bit bigger there. We'll make sure that we've got the same color selected. So I'll bring that to the foreground and we can just paint that in. Sometimes you just sort of have to uh, get in there and do a bit of custom coloring. It doesn't, the wand tool doesn't always work perfectly as you'd like it to. So there we go. So now we can change the background color, the color beneath the engraving. So like the, the sort of the silhouette of the image. And also now we could change uh, the actual engraving color itself. So we could go up here and we could change this to uh, any color we want really. So you could have it as like a dark green, which looks quite nice. Um, so that's just one other way just to uh, extract uh, the images from the background, but also sort of give you a bit more flexibility as to how you can add uh, color to your artwork. So now we're going to look at removing the background from a full color image so that we can just uh, have just this image of the passion fruit here. And this image is actually from our collection, Vintage Botanical Illustration 2. Uh, so Photoshop has recently added a feature which makes things really easy. And it's called the Remove Background Tool. So if you go up to Help and we've got Remove Background, just type that in here and you'll have this uh, option pop up. So I'm gonna click here and you'll have, you'll have it set as the Remove Background Quick Action. Just click Yes. So you can see that it started to remove the background here. So all you have to do is click apply. Okay. So now we can see that it has done a pretty good job, but there's some bits obviously in here that still need to be removed. There's sort of like uh, some, some parts in here and in here that still need to be removed. So we'll have to get in there and manually do that. But what you can see that that action has done is it's actually created a layer mask, which allows you to uh, r remove and add parts of the image without sort of, um, without having to sort of like permanently uh, lose some of the image uh, if you were to say delete it. So the best way to illustrate this is you can uh, paint things in and out with a mask layer by using uh, the colors white and black. So if you were to uh, use the brush tool with white, that's going to paint some of the image back in and undo that. But if you were to use black, then that is going to remove uh, the image. But again, if you change the foreground color to white again, you can paint that back in. So it's a super handy tool. Um, so I'm just going to undo that a little bit. Uh, so 
there's no easy way to do this really you sort of have to go in and again uh, just manually uh, erase these parts of the image that still need to be removed we can do that using the one tool which we used before so again same settings that we had previously just go ahead and click uh, part of the image that you want to remove so that's good so what we'll just see we'll make sure that we've uh, make sure that we've got our mask selected. You can sort of see it down here. We want to make sure that this is selected. We want to make sure that black is our background color because we want to remove this sort of tan or beige color here, which is part of the background. So to do that, we will press Command Delete, and we can see that that's done a pretty good job. And we can just do Command D to remove that. Still see that there's parts in here within this. Uh, tendril that needs to be removed so we can go ahead again and just click in there and select these and then we can do command delete again which is good uh, and that will remove them and basically we just have to sort of go through and remove any parts that still have background in them. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now and then I will show you the finished product in a minute. Okay, so now you can see that we've uh, removed all of the background from the image using the layer mask and the wand tool and also the brush tool for some of the tighter areas. So now we can add elements underneath that. So if we wanted to give it a background, we could. We could create a new layer, drag it behind the image, command delete to backfill the color um, so now you can see that that's just not attached to the background at all uh, we could even have uh, text running underneath it which could look cool so we just have it say botanical art and we could scale that up we could have that just sort of resting there you could then go ahead and add more images uh, whatever you want really so hopefully this gives you the confidence to be able to move forward and you could experiment with collage or if you're using it for graphics projects it's a quick way to remove backgrounds and yeah I hope that's helpful